Hi everyone, Aaron Dell here, Principal Business Development Manager for AWS. Today, I'm going to show you how to add cost categories, cost center, application, different kinds of mappings to your cloud intelligence dashboards so that you can separate out your costs by these mechanisms. So let's take a look. So first thing you're going to need is a CSV file. Now I've pre-populated this one so that we can save some time. Over here are the account IDs. Here is a cost center. I just made these numbers up. Yours might be different. And for fun, I threw an application so that we can maybe say these groups of accounts are related to this application. And what we want to do is look at cost and usage by the application instead of by the account. So we're going to save this as a CSV. So make sure if you're using Excel that you set it uh, appropriately. This, this does matter uh, as Glue is going to need to crawl this eventually and figure out what's inside this CSV file. So we'll call this demo account mapping. Okay, so we've got this CSV. Now, there's a couple of different ways to approach this. The quickest and easiest way is to go into your QuickSight application, go to data sets, find summary view, edit the data set, click here on add data, upload a file, give it a moment to figure out what's going on, grab the CSV file, it's going to try to parse it, and then it shows up down here on the bottom. So now what we need to do is join it. So let's join it to the linked account ID with the account ID. The account ID actually needs to be a string. So we're gonna change this data type to a string. Okay, now we're gonna click save. And we're gonna head over to our dashboard and have a look. Okay, now let's take a look at this amortized spend and let's see if we can group it by our new cost center. So I'm gonna go over here to the group color for bars and I'm gonna drag in my cost center field just like this. And then I'm gonna click on it. And now we see our amortized spend by cost center. Happens to be that this cost center is costing me the most month over month. So then let's take a look at the application visual. We can drag that in. And now we can view our application by application. In this case, it's web server, but yours will be different. So that is how you build a mapping table for your cost centers, your applications, or really anything else that you wanna to map to your account IDs. And this is how you import it into QuickSight. Now there is actually a better way to import it into QuickSight that's a little bit more scalable. So let me show that to you now. The first step is going to be creating an S3 bucket. And you wanna make sure it's in the same region as your dashboard. We're gonna call this account mapping demo and my dashboard is in US West 2. So we're gonna click create, and then we're gonna upload that same CSV file. Now we're gonna head over to Glue, and we're gonna create a crawler that's going to every month, every week, every day, automatically crawl this S3 folder. This gives us the benefit of being able to update this mapping document and simply just dropping it into the S3 bucket. So let's, ho let's head over to crawlers, let's click add crawler. Call it demo account mapping. We're gonna crawl all folders. We're going to pick the bucket that we just created. We're gonna click next. Give it a name for the IAM role. And we're just gonna set it to run on demand. This is where you can set it to run hourly, daily, monthly, uh, if you want. We're gonna have it go into our uh, demo uh, database here so that we can access it. When the crawler detects schema changes in the data store, we wanted to ignore it in case we need to change the schema here in Glue. Okay, now we've got our demo account mapping crawler and we're gonna run the crawler. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the Glue crawler and see if it has completed. It has completed, so we're gonna head over onto Athena to make sure that the data that was in that CSV file made it safely. So here we are in Athena. We're gonna look at the account mapping demo. We're gonna show or preview the table. And we can see we've got our account IDs, our cost center and our application. Uh, next, we're gonna head over to the cost intelligence dashboard here and we're gonna 
go to the data sets section so that we can add this Athena table as a new data set. We're going to go to summary view. We're going to edit the summary view data set and we're going to click on add data. We're going to select a data source we've already used, CID, and we're going to uh, locate the account mapping demo table, which is this. We're going to select it and we're going to join it. So the way I want to join it is by using the account ID, in this case, uh, this, this field here, and I want to join it to account ID. You can do it either the pair account or linked account, similar to how we were doing this when we uploaded the CSV file. Now, it's going to give me an error right off the bat because my account ID is still an integer, so that's okay. We're just going to change it really quickly to a string. We're going to head over to Glue, and we're going to go into our tables here, and we're going to click this account mapping demo table, and we're going to edit the schema. We're going to change the account ID to a string, and we're going to change the cost center to a string as well. And we're going to click Save, and we'll just rerun the crawler just to make sure everything looks good. Then we're gonna visit Summary View. We're gonna click on Edit Data Set, and we're going to uh, check back on here on our mapping table to make sure everything looks good. We don't see any errors, so we're gonna click Save. Then we're gonna head over to our dashboard, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to find that new account field, which we called, one of them was called Cost Center. And instead of grouping by payer account here, we'll just drag cost center in like we did with the other one. And now we have our spend on cost center. And of course, we can also do by application. There we go. So that's how you add uh, custom mapping to your cost intelligence dashboard. Thanks for watching.